What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. I am showing off the finished commission for six dark Eldar Venoms painted up in a dark purple, dark uh, fading to like a reddish purple and then fading down to black with flame designs on the side, which I used my airbrush for. So uh, you might remember that I've been taking you through this project for a while. I've First, I painted the crew members because I wanted them to be separate. I knew that they would be a lot um, easier to put on and handle if I didn't have to worry about them so I kind of finished them first so no matter what angle you look at these vehicles that those crew members are painted everything is painted and I put two full canopies on the cockpits the rest of the four are are open it's these half cockpits and so you can read the uh, the panels and the computer screens and stuff, but I decided to do a little bit of variety and have two of those full cockpits on. Uh, Mike asked me in a previous video, I hadn't responded because I kind of was thinking of doing a, an actual video of showing the technique, but uh, I don't think I'm going to have a chance to do it. To do the green tinted cockpits, I basically took Tamiya's clear green, there we go, and I basically just painted it onto the... Uh, onto the the cockpit on while it was on the plastic sprue you just paint it onto the plastic and it's a clear plastic and then you just snip it off shave off the sides and then when you're ready after i was finished sealing with a uh, satin coat then i just glued the cockpit on there's a special kind of plastic glue meant for clear plastic gluing clear plastic onto this uh, i guess not clear plastic but i decided to just use a regular plastic glue all of the models were done with, uh, the flames on the models were done with Minotaur air colors and a Badger airbrush. The uh, compressor I'm using is, I believe, an Iwata compressor, but the airbrush is a chrome, Badger chrome airbrush, a fantastic piece of equipment. I found it so easy to use, and the uh, stencils, like I said, were from Anarchy Models. Check out Anarchy Models' website. They have a great selection. They have um, diamonds grid, diamond grids for if you are into Harlequins. They have dragon scales for if you want to do some Alpha Legion or Salamanders, and of course they have flames. And this is just one of the sizes of the flame templates. They actually have four sizes, and they have two of each size. So uh, these are the second smallest. There's uh, some flames that are even smaller than these and then larger ones and the largest ones look like they can fit really nicely onto like a Knight Titan's legs or something. Um, very simple to use. I'm planning on doing a, a video on doing the flames. Basically one side of the, the, the um, stencil is sticky so you just place it on the model and you s um, press it down so that it kind of sticks to the model. And the model should already be painted what you want it to be underneath. So I, you might have seen my videos where I'd already painted the purple red underneath. And then I put the stencil over so that it's covering. And then I just sprayed with my airbrush. First, I sprayed this dark blue color, uh, the dark, this almost dark like ocean blue. And then I just added a little bit of the lighter, whiter colors to it. And then sprayed progressively higher so that it shows this nice blend from this dark green ocean blue up into... a. Uh, it's not really green, it's more like an aqua dark blue, up to the gray, up to the, the white. Because of the Dark Eldar crew hanging off of the Venoms, I knew that I wanted to put those on last. And because I wanted to spray the, the model with satin coat to seal it. So I left the crew mef members off I after I did the uh, the paint job and then I, I painted on, I sprayed on the the flame effects, then I sealed it with a satin coat. And then after that, once it was dry, then I put the crewmen on. So you see this cool transition where if you look at the model and you're turning it around, it's got this really glossy sheen to it, like a very slick alien fighter. And then on the back, you've got the uh, crew members that are looking uh, very matte and, and um, not shiny at all. So uh, I loved using the airbrush. I think airbrushing is a, is a great new frontier for me to get into. I've always been afraid of getting into it because I haven't been able to get a compressor that I, that, that I like. I had the Badger Airbrush Chrome for a while now and the Minotaur Paints uh, Kenneth Badger was, was nice enough to hook me up with those. But for the actual 
um, painting, I needed a compressor and I couldn't find one that I liked. Um, I saw a lot of reviews online about different compressors and I wasn't sure which one to go with. Finally, I decided to go with uh, an Iwata one and it's very small, compact. It says it's quiet. I don't know why, for some reason the buzzing does not sound quiet at all to me, but I'm, I'm, I guess that's because I'm used to working in almost perfect silence. Um, the tricky thing when I was transporting these guys around is that these trophy, I guess not trophy racks, but the uh, these spears sticking up in the back and the flags, um, when, when I was traveling with them, I tried to pack them well, but because of how how fragile they are and you only have one connecting point into the deck here uh, when the glue dried and when I was holding them and traveling with them uh, some of them invariably got a little bit bent so I'm gonna be extra careful when I pack these up and send them off to the client the transfers are all actually not from the dark Eldar range I wanted to go with something a little bit more I guess uh, uh, primitive and savage looking. So I went with a Dark Elf transfer sheet from the, the, the most recent release of the Dark Elves in uh, Warhammer Fantasy 8th edition. And uh, they look really cool, I think. They've all got these uh, black winged uh, Pegasus, like dark Pegasus figures on the back. And they've all got different symbols, these little white symbols. I found six different ones and I placed them right in front of the Dark Pegasus's head. Dark Pegasus says Pegasi, Pegasus, Pegasus. And so um, the, I guess that they're kind of like uh, vehicle designations. They're all kind of different. And uh, so all the symbols are different, you can see. And uh, I also painted some of them a little bit more red and others a little bit darker purple. And no real reason for that. I just wanted to show that although these six Venoms hunt in a pack, they all cherish their individuality and the, the, um, like the, the crew members, they don't do their hair different and some of the pilots wear crazy uh, Cobra Commander masks and some of them want to feel the wind on their face and there's no real uh, uniformity, they're kind of like a pack of wolves that just hunt together but um, they all have their individuality and they're all very, very savage. And uh, I think this was a great commission to work on and I'm really happy that I got to finish it. Some of you may be following my War Machine commission project. That is about to wrap up and um, the, the starter set for that is so much fun to paint. I've got so much other projects on the table. If you'd like to commission me, you can reach me at warbostay at gmail, war, warbostay studios sorry, at gmail.com. That's all one word, Warbostay Studios. And you can also hit up my website, warbostaystudios.com. And of course, you can find me here and send me comments and uh, messages here on the YouTube. I'm also on Facebook at Warbostay and on Twitter at Warbostay. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, going a little bit long at eight minutes, but I really wanted to take the time to show you everything about these models. And let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Laters!